this series and I'm a dwarf planet in the asteroid belt. The only dwarf in the inner solar system, pretty much by myself. Oh yeah. I hang out between Mars and Jupiter and I'm made of rock. That's right. I was discovered in the 1800s, so I'm not a new kid on the block. Here we go. 1801 was the year when Giuseppe Piazzi discovered that I was here. They thought I was an asteroid for a long time, but then they realized they gave me the wrong kind of classification, so they had to correct it. Now I'm a dwarf planet, much more respected, and I'm about as big across as Texas, twice the size of the asteroid Vesta. I got my name from the goddess of the harvest, and in the asteroid belt, I am the largest celestial object hanging out with the space rocks, and my surface has mysterious bright spots. Scientists still don't know what those are, but they give off a serious shine from afar. So NASA sent out the spacecraft Dawn to study me and try to figure out what's going on. My name is Ceres and I'm a dwarf planet in the asteroid belt. The only dwarf in the inner solar system, pretty much by myself. Oh yeah. It takes about five Earth years for me to go around the sun. That's right. And I rotate really fast so my day is nine hours long. Here we go. My name is Ceres, but it's C. Not like the other series, cause that would be A sequence of events or activities But I'm a dwarf planet in a final piece My name is Ceres and I'm a dwarf planet in the asteroid belt The only dwarf in the inner solar system Pretty much by myself 